Solving equations. Solving equations just means finding out what x is. So, say you have an equation x plus 4 equals 6. That means x is a number that when 4 is added to it, it makes 6. So x must be 2, because 4 plus 2 is 6. x minus 3 equals 1 means that x is a number that when you minus 3 from it, you get 1. So x must be 4. 3x equals 6 means 3 times x equals 6. So that means x is a number that when it's times by 3, it equals 6. So x must be 2. x over 2 equals 3 means x divided by 2 equals 3. So that means x is a number that when it's divided by 2 equals 3. So x must be 6. So say you have an equation 3x plus 2 equals 17. That means that x has been times by 3, had 2 added to it to make 17. So what we need to do is to find out what x was to start with. So we need to undo all of the things that have been done to it going backwards to get x on its own. So the first thing we have to undo is the plus 2. So what we can do is do a minus 2, the opposite of plus 2. But because we've done the minus 2 on the left hand side of the equal sign, we have to do the same thing on the right hand side of the equal sign. So we have minus 2 on both sides of the equation. Now the 2 minus 2 cancels out. So the next line of our equation looks like 3x equals 15. So x is a number when times by 3 it makes 15. So we need to undo the times by 3. So we do the opposite of times 3, which is divide by 3. So we're dividing both sides of the equation by 3. Now on the left hand side we have a 3 on the top line and a 3 on the bottom line. When we have the same number on the top and the bottom of a fraction, we can cancel them out. So the next line of our equation looks like x equals 5, because 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we've solved that equation. Another equation, 2x plus 4 equals 8. So x is a number that's been times by 2, had 4 added to it to make 8. So again, we need to undo the steps that have been done to the x in the reverse order. So the first thing we need to undo is the plus 4. So the opposite of plus 4 is minus 4, so we minus 4 from both sides of the equation. So 4 minus 4 cancels out, and so the next line of our equation looks like this, 2x equals 4. So to undo the 2x, we need to divide both sides by 2. So now, again, we have a 2 on the top line and a 2 on the bottom line on the left. So the 2's cancel out, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2, so x equals 2. Now, a slightly harder one. 3x plus 6 over 2 equals 6. This means that x is a number that's been times by 3, had 6 added to it, and then all of that is divided by 2 to make 6. So the first thing we need to undo is the divide by 2. So we do the opposite. We times both sides of the equation by 2. So now on the left we have a 2 on the top line and a 2 on the bottom line, so I can cancel those out. And so what we're left with is 3x plus 6 equals 12. Now we need to undo the plus 6, so we do the opposite, we minus 6 from both sides of the equation. So 6 minus 6 cancels out, 12 minus 6 is 6, so the next line of our equation looks like 3x equals 6. Now we need to undo the 3 times x. So we divide both sides by 3. And again, we have 3 on the top line and a 3 on the bottom line, which cancel out. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so x equals 2. Now, this is a slightly different equation. You'll notice there's no x's here. What we have is e's. And you'll also notice there's an e term on both sides of the equation, and that's no good. We want to get an e equals something, and that's not going to happen while we've got an e on either side. So, the first thing we have to do is to collect all our e's on one side of the equation. So we'll collect them on the left. So the first thing we do is we plus 3e to both sides of the equation. So you'll notice on the right hand side this means we have 2 take away 3e plus 3e. So those 3e's cancel out. On the left hand side we have 5 minus 8e plus 3e. So the next line of our equation looks like 5 minus 5e equals 2. 
Now, we need to get rid of that 5 out on the left. It's a positive 5, so what we do is we minus 5 from both sides. So we have 5, take away 5, which turns to 0. So the next line of our equation looks like negative 5e equals 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So now we need to get rid of the negative 5. So we divide both sides of the equation by negative 5, and the negative 5s cancel out on the left. And what we're left with is negative 3 divided by negative 5, and two negatives make a positive. So e equals 3 divided by 5. Now, time for you to do some. Go to page 187 and do question 2, the left-hand side, question 4, left-hand side, question 5, left-hand side, and question 6, left-hand side. Good luck.